everyone, I am Zanji Kick. And I'm Broken Hexagram. And welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, Episode 3, Part Dress. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, I was thinking in my head, wait, is it really Part 3? I think it is. If not, I'll correct it with some subtitles, but whatever. <laughs> awesome subtitles. We are trying to find uh, Lily's things. And there it is, under her hand. Oh boy. That's not going to end well. Uh Holly. -huh. Uh. That did it. Wow. Really? That's too easy. Do what you want. Alright, thank you. Thank you for your lovely high uh, moment. Mm hmm. Wait, didn't Crane have a bottle like that? Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but. Yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Hmm. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I'm just... I'm tracking a lead. Huh. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, the... Oh, yeah, the glamour tube. Mm -hmm. Is it a puzzle? No. Really? Address book there. Yeah, address book. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? The guy I think did it? He and I have a history. A schoolyard grudge ain't a reason, Big B. At least it ain't a good one. You just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. Wow. So don't have any more fuck ups. All right, thank you. All right, all that timing. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But okay, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. 
Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Dreamtown. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. Mm. We don't have a lot of time. The meeting is at two. I'll head over to Crane's apartment. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on Honestly, this they're all... Okay. They seem like they're all connected, Luckily. so... Yeah. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. Hmm. Interesting. Science, we're not ah. talking, but this is just pretty much um, detective work, guys. Detective work. Yeah, this... I don't... There's so much going on. And we gotta deal with Bluebeard on top of that, and the Tweedles. And they, some bunch of douchebags. I'm hoping at least we, uh, I hope, I think this is the right idea, because we need to cross-reference what Crane has, and what Lily has. Mm -hmm. And where's Bluebeard? Bluebeard burned everything. Oh. Really? Why? I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Why Honest. Crying? Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the Crane's stuff? Burn photo? Okay, nothing there. Book. Wait, a photo, a book, and a clock? If there was something here I could use to find him, there isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. Hmm. I'll get a book, a photo, and a clock. This must be something. Yeah. Come on, game. Don't you dare freeze. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Uh. Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out. Probably working no on a kidding. case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Why don't you take the night off? That's nice of you, but I, I can't. I still have to clean their office. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. Thank you. No Thank problem. You, That's awesome, Flycatcher. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, right? <laughs> right. 
Oh, Bigsby. Okay, nothing there. I didn't see a box. Okay. You know about this? Nah, uh, no. Mine now. Mm -hmm. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dunn. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. Let's see. Oh, yeah, his light pops. Dear Brother Dunn. I hate dogs, and you know it. Sincerely, what is with these deep. brothers? Couple of freaks. <sighs> I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used hmm. to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem, and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Still. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Ooh. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. This is worse than I thought. Oh, wow. Shit. Cinderella. Donkey. Ooh. Nice catch. I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Not yet. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Oh, uh, what's Brannigan? Brannigan? Who's Brannigan? Detective Brannigan. Oh, her. Keep an eye on The her. one who was asking us questions in oh. episode two. Oh, wow. Oh, speaking of. Cinderella. Yeah, let's see what Cinderella looks like. Oh, okay. Uh, and finally, Crane. Ichabod Crane. The douchebag. He owes the crooked Fine. man money. Compromising shit. Photo. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. Wh what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that Ooh. different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. Is that what you think? Big B? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, I, I know you like them, but 
They're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Whoa. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. Thanks, Fi, catch you. You're risking a lot, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Donkey skin, that's why one thing caught my eye. I tell you, it's only been like a couple of days since we played it. Yeah. Wow. Coffee? JD. JD. That might be on the... the book. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. Butcher? Is this stuff? Hey, Sam. Crooked man. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Whoa. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. He didn't really need that. <laughs> hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Wasn't that... It's Snow's yeah. hair. Snow White? Why... W we found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Grain This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. No, it isn't. Anti-Greenleaf. A-G. This is it. Call the business office. Tell Snow I'm heading to this address. Have her meet me there. Man, start the plot thickens. Okay, we found a witch. We found hair. <laughs> We found money and pocketed it. For some reason. We always pocket the money. But yeah, okay, I guess we will end things there. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, Twitter, the end. Well, honestly, what I'm thinking about the most is Bluebeard burning stuff at Crane's office. Yeah. I mean, I'm wondering if Crane knew something, had something on Bluebeard. That's what I'm wondering. Probably so. But, I don't know. But, let me say this little announcement. If you like the uh, 
Wolf Among Us and everything else. It will be show every Wednesday. Just want to let you guys know. No. Maybe every people, Wednesday. Every men- Wednesday and everything else. So you will probably get an episode of The Flu and The Gesture every Wednesday Woo. on this channel and everything else. And I'd like to thank them guys for pretty much allow me to do less plays with, with Mr. Kick over here because Kick is awesome. Thank you, Broken Hex. You are awesome as well. Thank you. So like and subscribe, comment, you know, just show some support for for us and everything because it, it's amazing to de- do these videos to time to time. Alright. Mm-hmm. And until then, everyone, have a great evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>